we're going to review average value of a function. Here's our formula. Right, 1 over b minus a, integral 0 to pi sine x dx. The antiderivative for sine of x is negative cosine x, so I'm just going to put the negative here, cosine of x. And then I'm going to evaluate cosine of x from 0 to pi. From the unit circle, cosine of pi is negative 1, cosine of 0 is 1. This reduces to negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 1 over pi would result in 2 over pi. Find the average value of y equals x squared times square root of x cubed plus 1 on the interval 0 to 2. Then find where this value occurs. All right, so a couple steps here. Getting ready for integration using u substitution. I'll pull the square root, root off. All right, without a calculator, with a calculator it's, it's super easy, but without a calculator, u is going to be the inside function, x cubed plus 1. All right, so I'm going to do a little rearranging, noticing that I'm going to have to bring in 3. and then putting the x squared dx here at the end. Okay, I'm going to bring in the 3 and bring out a 1 third. Well, there's already a half here, so I'm going to have to multiply that by um, a third. And let's convert all the way over to our u integral. That's u. This is du. All right, just tr trying to save a little space here. I'm going to work to the right. Uh, let's find the antiderivative. So bump up that exponent to 3 halves and multiply by 2 thirds, evaluating from 0 to 2. Now, at this point, if you wanted to stay with the u integral, you would have to go back and plug in 0 for x, get a new lower limit of 1, Plug in 2 for x and get a new upper limit of 9, which that, that might be easier. It's just not as comfortable because we've been working with the other way. All right, uh, I can pull the 2 thirds out and multiply it with the 1 sixth, noticing that I can cross cancel here and get uh, 1 ninth. And u is x cubed plus 1 raised to the 3 halves evaluated from 0 to 2. Actually, I think I'm going to swing it down here. It's uh, going to need a little more space here. Evaluating at 2, cubing, getting 8, plus 1 is 9. Oh, I didn't need all this space. <laughs> 9 raised to the 3 halves. 
plug in zero, that would be one raised to the three halves. All right, nine raised to the three halves. Okay, one way to um, simplify this without a calculator is to think about rewriting nine as a base a power with a base of three. So nine is three squared. So it's still raised to the three halves. And so now we can multiply these exponents. So that would result in us getting three cubed, which is 27. If you don't want to work with fractional exponents, here's another way. Maybe a lot of you guys like to think of this as 9 cubed, so 3 of them, uh, but the square root of it. 9 to the third power, square root of that. So which means you can pull out one of the 9's, leaving the single 9 in there, but that can simplify to 3, and 9 times 3 is 27. So it's just a personal preference. Fractional exponents, rewriting with powers, or dealing with the square roots. 27 minus 1, 26. 26 ninths is the answer to the average value question. All right, to complete this, it says then find where this value occurs. Well, this is a y value. So what you'd have to do is plug in 26 ninths for y, and then maybe do a y1, y2 intersection. Then this really becomes a calculator question. So to finish this problem, to find the value of x that has this y, like I said, you'd have to, you know, pick up the calculator and use that. But here's just a description. Find x when y is 26 nights. Set it equal to the original equation. Uh, we don't have time, so we're going to move on. But that'd be one way that you could, or that is the way you could do that. All right, so for problem number three, we have the function f of t given by this equation. Uh, it's used to, this equation is used to model the velocity of a plane in miles per minute. According to this model, this equation, what is the average velocity of the plane? Well, they gave me velocity. They're asking me to find the average velocity in the first 40 minutes. All right, so average velocity. 1 over b minus a. This is a, this is b. Now I'm just going to put f of t dt. I'm not going to rewrite that whole thing, especially if I'm told I can use a calculator. Type it into y1, integrate it, get that answer. Don't forget to divide by 40. Okay. So if you wanted to pause and do it on your own and then check your answer, this would be a good time to do so. Otherwise, this is the answer that I came up with. Okay, and I wanted to try and make sense of this because I thought, well, I guess that could be the answer. You know, could, am I traveling six miles per minute if I'm, a, if I'm on an airplane? And when I got to thinking about it, if you multiply 6, this number, 6 miles, whatever, times 60 minutes, that's 360 miles per hour. I thought, yeah, a plane travels that. It travels that and well beyond that. So it did make sense to me. All right, so this is just a review of the average value, the 1 over b minus a times the integral a to b of the function.